the 20s, Cedarburg, Wisconsin. A farm boy, Carl Kiekefer, prefers tinkering to plowing. Good with tools, he's inspired by the lives of great inventors. What he likes about the farm is the tractor and the Model T. He wants to be an engineer. He leaves the farm. First school, then jobs. At one, chief engineer for 11 years. His expertise is in metallurgy, but his heart is in the machine. He yearns to be on his own. 1939. With financial help from his father, Kiekefer opens shop. A former outboard engine plant in Cedarburg is home to his new enterprise, manufacturing magnetic separators for the dairy industry. In the purchase, he inherits 300 outboards returned as defective. To raise capital, he'll either sell them for scrap or try to make them work. He's an engineer. He redesigns them, rebuilds them by hand. They sell. No one is more surprised than Kiekefer when the order comes back for more. Kiekefer Corporation is in business, the outboard business. Outboards aren't new. They aren't reliable either. Starting from scratch, Kiekefer devotes his own designs to features for quick, powerful, dependable boating power. A rubber rotor pump that tolerates sand, silt, and vegetation. A one-piece streamlined housing that protects drive shaft, water line, and exhaust from exposure to the elements. And a reed valve induction system. A new vision for outboards. He names his one-cylinder and alternate firing twins for the god of speed, Mercury. He also has his own ideas about how engines should be sold, bypassing retail chains and selling direct to the boater through dealers, knowledgeable representatives who care about boating and will care about the customer. In his Plymouth Coupe, he goes to the New York Boat Show with a handmade trade show display. He writes orders for 16,000, and the marine industry changes forever. Now, to meet the demand. The war solves that. The government restricts aluminum, the heart of the engine block. Inventories exhausted, Kiekefer looks once again for opportunity. The government needs air-cooled engines for two-man chainsaws. He competes with six other firms, but none responds faster. Five weeks from initial bid to prototype. For the next five years, war applications and the war. But because his engineers are encouraged to design for the future, Mercury is ready with a complete line of engines when the war is over. In 1947, the Lightning. A 10-horse, two-cylinder engine that outperforms engines rated twice that. In New York, Kiekefer shows lightnings which have been run more than 75,000 continuous miles each. An early taste of Mercury's passion for testing. America's pent-up passion for fun is released, and Mercury grows. Its first expansion is in a large dairy barn, the Corium Farm in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Fond du Lac, home to manufacturing, marketing support services, training. Cedarburg, 
Engineering and Administration, Sarasota, Florida, Saltwater Testing. In 1949, lightning strikes twice, the 40 cubic inch Thunderbolt, the industry's first four-in-line, two-cycle engine with a one-piece die-cast aluminum block, one horse per cubic inch. The Korean War, and Mercury engines are there, even in the air. After the war, for the rest of the 50s, Mercury designs full throttle fun. Here's one kind of outboard excitement, and here's another. Remain seated and start the motor with a firm, steady motion. You'll find all your favorite fishing features Mercury. Mercury's strong promotion captures the public's imagination. But innovation earns it. Kike for the engineer has more than 200 patents alone. Behind the firsts, Mercury muscle. No one is more committed to boating. Lake X, the Florida Proving Grounds, inaugurated by running two Mark 75s 50,000 miles day and night for 68 days. Expansion, Beaver Dam, Oshkosh, Cedarburg, Fond du Lac, and Dealers. From coast to coast and by demand around the world, their enthusiasm sells. Power boating grows. The dealers grow, the company grows. The 60s, the first 100 plus horsepower outboard. The industry's first 100 plus horsepower stern drive, Mercruiser combining the power and economy of inboard engines with the flexibility and maneuverability of outboard drive units. The first comprehensive proprietary accessories line, Quicksilver, improving dealer service and customer satisfaction. Opportunity, Mercury has it. With its product diversity, is ready to reach whole new markets. Opportunity, the Brunswick Corporation, an emerging leisure sports leader, wants to broaden its spectrum. Mercury joins Brunswick and has the capital to grow. Brunswick gains a spirited leader in a potent marketplace. The vision grows stronger. the 70s. Competition. How do you prove marine products work? Race them till they fail? Or beat the other guy? Pushing engines farther, longer, faster. Mercury does. The proof is in the performance improvements, 
that come from being number one. The 70s. The vision takes daring new directions. Mercabo, Mercury Saltwater Test Base in Florida, leads the industry in saltwater corrosion testing and research. The industry's most corrosion resistant power packages are the result. Mercury Outboards, bold, black, the leader and Mercruiser, the boat builder's stern drive of choice, powering larger, faster, more powerful rigs, more than all the competition combined. Significant international expansion, first Belgium and Australia, then a joint venture with Yamaha. Japanese manufacturing culture and two-cycle technology meet Mercury's incomparable ability to push a boat through water. The result? a new way to bring Mercury to market around the world with a line of engines designed to be efficient and tough in tough commercial waters, Mariner. I grew up with this motor. My father bought a new one in 52, a 10 horse Mercury Hurricane. And I ran around on the Mississippi River with it. And they were good motors and they still run just like new. I like them mainly because they run so well and they're so dependable, they're so well built, just outstanding, they have been for years, and that's the reason I like them. I can make them run. I collect the big ones, the KG9, and that thing was a gangbusters motor. Right there on the side it says Merc 25, but in truth it developed 40 horsepower. Just a tremendous piece of machinery. We've run Mercury products and Mariner products since we started tournament fishing about 10 years ago. We like them. In the dealership, we asked about their service, and the gentleman took us through their service department, was immaculate, and they were very nice to us, and we thought that's where we want to buy our boat from Mercury and our motor. I've had nothing but no cruisers. I've always had good luck with them. We have been having wonderful experiences with Mercury. Sometimes I think we take these things for granted. I'm a Mariner, 40 horse. I really do enjoy it. I've never had a problem trying to start it, which is nice. We've been boating about 19 years. We have a 1969 Mercury 65 horse. We've raised nine children. They may all water ski, and they've all been towed with this motor. And we troll with it. We fish muskies with it. And water ski from it, and it does it all for us. It's the same set of plugs that the motor came with. The carburetors have been adjusted once, and we just have had no trouble with it at all. It's running so good, and my family is getting smaller. Why, why get another one? Happy 50th anniversary, Mercury. Keep up the good work. One man's quest at 50 is now an international quest. With the vision to see the possibilities and the spirit to make them happen. The quest continues. Mercury Marine.